Today's mission is to install solar on my Tesla. But how practical is it actually? I thought we cleared it last week. With any DIY project, things don't always go according to plan, right? Okay, so we discovered a problem area right here. What changes do we have to make to make this work? Today, we're in sunny Ventura, California. These are the solar panels that I've been talking about for the last few months. They're finally here. Today, we're here with Cal Field. We're gonna be setting this up together. <laughs> Super stoked, because we're gonna be drilling holes inside Beluga after this. Returning it to stock will be very hard. <laughs> but that was never really intentionally the plan. All right. Yeah, so these are durable enough that you can step on them, you can poke them with a stick, rocks can be thrown at them. So it's basically like a PPF and they're vacuum sealed like this and they should really be durable enough for my adventures as well. And each one of these is about 150 watts and I have two of them, it's about 300. So it's got a thick plastic layer over the top, that's that texture. Yeah. And then it sandwiches the cells in between that and what looks like maybe fiberglass on the back sheet. Yeah. And then there's 3M tape. So we do have to wipe it down with some alcohol. The first order of business was to actually see where we could mount them perfectly on top of the hood. Because there's 3M tape, we only really get one chance at this. So we decided to take our time and figure out a strategic strategy to mount them properly. Dusty. There we go. The suspect. Yeah. Obvious. Grab the back. Yeah. Lift that up. There you go. There you go. Perfect. What have you done to this thing? I, I thought we cleaned it last week. <laughs> I think that was the single objective. Oh, that's better. Last week. Oh, okay. Now it's clean. You think it's that dirty? That yeah, still works. Not too bad. No, not too bad. Okay, so now we're measuring the front itself to figure out exactly where the junction box is gonna be drilled in. And we wanna be precise, because it's not like it's a piece of glass we can see exactly through. We kind of have to measure exactly to see where the junction box is gonna fit. And we only really get one, one try, I think. Well, at least, you know, we can always drill a bigger hole, but we wanna be exact. <laughs> How's it look? Set it down. Yeah. So this curve looks beautiful. How are we on center line? Uh, far. Far? Yeah. Like we, we were right here before, but now we're here. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, right there. Yeah, no, just, I think we've done our measurements. We've checked it twice and uh, first hole, man. Just should, taking a drill to the Model X, no big deal. Should I stand on it? <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. You know what you're doing? Uh, just drill, let me, put, okay, it is the right way, okay, great. You ready? No. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Oh, jeez. All right, you just drilled a hole in your Model X. It smells like fire. Hmm. All right, so that's official. The first hole. I honestly did not think when I bought this car that I would be doing this with it, but that's the most exciting part. That summarizes right. almost your entire journey is like, when I bought this car, I didn't know I was gonna do this. No, nah, but I think that's kind of life. You know, I think the best stuff just kind of goes unplanned. Yeah. By far. Great. <laughs> yeah! Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> hey, good thing we put that catch tray in here. That's a good idea. Keep in this. Yeah, souvenir? Piece of beluga. This is my payment for Kyle. <laughs> 
35 millimeters right there. It's perfect, because look, this is what we were talking about when I went to Europe. We yep. wanted to make sure that it wasn't here. Yeah, so Mito lined it up perfectly so that it would uh, come in one of these little openings and you wouldn't have to drill through two layers and have yeah. the ugly. Yeah, perfect. and then we have to do one other side, but that's first let's put this one on and then yeah. go from there. It's weird, it doesn't sand normally. All right. Okay. Nice. I'll keep it. There you go. So this is what it looks like at the bottom. So that's the junction box that I was talking about. There's two ways to actually mount this. It's either from the bottom or up top. But we decided in the Netherlands to mount it at the bottom so it's a slick tuck away. Plus aerodynamics. Honestly, I don't know what the test would be like, but anything that sits on top of the car is gonna decrease range, right? Like roof racks. So I was like, let's tuck them under. Okay, so now I'm cleaning the hood with alcohol. I feel like I'm detailing my car, which it feels so wrong. You can never clean it. Wiping it down. No. Detailing. <laughs> no, you're scrubbing them. It's different. Yeah. It's gonna flop. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> You got it? Let me just pull the wires through. Sorry, give me one second. So if you go a little bit down the line, yeah. Lift right. again? Yeah. This is awesome. Is this sticking by itself, right? Yeah. It's all a big sticker. Perfect, this, perfect, perfect. Yeah, this one's a little bit longer up here. It, is push, it, push it back up? Yeah, right there. It perfectly worked out when I flew to the Netherlands because I wanted to meet the team. I wanted to meet the panels. I wanted to understand the process a little bit better because this is actually the first time I've ever worked with solar. But I got obsessed with solar after meeting this guy because I completely retrofitted my car, right, to a fully electric system, like induction stove, tea kettle, microwave, not yet, but <laughs> solar was the next step and to be here. I mean, it just, I don't know if I'm making sense right now. My head is just so excited. It's the uh, good enough precision. 35 millimeters, what was, in, what was it, inches? Inch and three eighths. Inch and three eighths. So, yeah. Oops, 35. Just gonna draw right on the car. And it's roughly there. And then we're gonna actually drill an inch and three quarter inch hole sob yep. hole. You. Great, that was easy. There we go. Holy Tesla. Souvenir number two. Much open a business. I've done it twice. Cow's garage. My garage has seen some things. <laughs> Low it down. Just, just wank it into place. Like pull it, yeah. and jerk it. Just press it and pull it and. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. You know, maybe I should try one of these I like that. Yeah, well mine's good here. Okay. So do the do the pressing, not 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 down here? Yeah, just up here, right? Do it, yeah, up here. Yep, exactly. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So is this gonna be an air bubble right here? Yeah. What's going on there? Oh, because you pushed here, it could be sandwiching it. Oh fuck. Okay, so we discovered a problem area right here. So it's not even aligned. So you can see like just right here. So we have to either, we're gonna sand this down or find a way to tuck this in where it's nice and flush.
Yeah, just get it on the microfiber and yeah. then get as much of that as you can off of the white part. Not a rush, not a rush. Okay. Can I blow? No. No. Um, you can use a piece of tape. Yeah. Yeah, because there's definitely some. It's not the most critical up there, it's mainly the nose. You have so much around it. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna get a weird text from Jules. It's like, what was that? <laughs> Minute three. The preferred method for installing uh, hood, hood solar panels is a rolling pin. Dude, these angles look so clean. They did such a good job on this, man. Yeah, I think they really did. All right, so the next step is we just wired the cables underneath the hood, and then we're gonna solder them together and slowly bring them back through the back, the front of the car here wire them through here, and then find a way to the EcoFlow, which is back there, which is part of my kitchen. So we're going off this little diagram that I got from Mito Solar. That's kind of the instructions we're following. Cal has done this before, the soldering. I've never done it before. <laughs> Maybe not for a solar setup, but you have played along. Soldering, right? yeah. Yes. Sure. So he's basically my guide today. That's from the dumpster. Holy sh! Damn. All right, from road trip it was. Oh, there we go. Oh. Right now we're soldering the negative and the positives together to the XT60s. Yep. Yeah, so new experience, getting the positive to the square side, the negative to the round side, and just kind of feeling it out. Definitely not a soldering pro, but I think it'll stick. So yeah, one step at a time and looking forward to getting this thing working. Yep, just a work in progress. And we have a little cheat sheet here too. <laughs> Pizza box, EcoFlow. Full workstation, just making it work. We found a potential spot to wire the wires through. Right there, it's really hard to show. I think if I can show better from the other side. So in there, that's how we're gonna wire the wires through into the main cabin, past the firewall. Tell me if you, when you want me to push it. Yeah, pull, I push it. Yeah. Alright, push. Okay. We're trying to get that bump of the wire. Yeah, through? it's through, yeah. yeah right. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, do you need more? Oh, I guess you don't think so. Okay. Okay, it's coming, it's coming all through. Alright, let me know. Oh yeah. Not ready yet. But it's ready. It's getting stepped. I think we have the final step. One more step to go. Yo! Is this the final piece? I think that's it. Soldering all done by Mr. Mr. Beta. For better or worse, probably worse. <laughs> I mean, we still have to test it to see if the solar actually works, but... Yeah, that's on the sun. Yeah, <laughs> but we're in the perfect spot, Ventura. Sun pretty much shines all year. There's no real weather <laughs> besides wildfires. Let's go put it in the sun. Let yeah, okay, yeah. Now the question is, let's go let it play and see how much solar we can juice out from the sky. So today is a real world test. We're in Ventura and that's the solar modules. So let's see what the wattage is now. Normally, if I charge it myself using the DC outlet in the back, I get about 110 watts, which is pretty optimal. That charges the EcoFlow in about 10 hours. 
But if I look up right now with the EcoFlow, okay, so right now I'm getting 114 watts, so a little bit more than what I would get with the DC. I actually just peaked at 135 watts driving over here and I got so excited. <laughs> My life just peaked, just like that. It's really cool to have these installed and it definitely adds a little bit more toughness, aggressive look to the Model X Beluga. Uh, I think the only thing Kyle and I will do in the next few weeks or so is like kit it. So no water gets underneath here, the seals. Whoa. Here, oh, it is a little bit heavier now. A lot heavier actually. And then the wires go here from the front. We have the two uh, solar junctions right there. That's wired here and it's wired through here, which I showed yesterday through there. Through these panels here, all the way back here. And then right here, it goes into the EcoFlow right there. And there's one more thing we have to do to make this official. Well, it's official now. Thanks for being with me here today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Drive safe out there. Cheers.